is Valley Parade, the Bradford and Bingley Stadium. On the day, Manchester United are here for a league match for the first time since 1936. Not a spare seat in the ground, a match of real importance at both ends of the table. Bradford City battling to stay in the Premiership. They're currently third from bottom in the relegation zone, but only a couple of points behind the club immediately above them, Derby County. Well, let's straight away give you the team news. Bradford City, well, they bring back goalkeeper Matt Clark. He's been out for two months with a knee injury. He replaces Aidan Davison. The back four is unchanged. Dean Windast is dropped back to midfield from a striking role. Gareth Wally dropping out. So after four substitute appearances, George Cadet starts in the Premiership for the first time. The former Portuguese international is here on loan from Benfica. Ryan Giggs, Dwight York and Andy Cole, all rested in Valencia, are all back today. So too is David Beckham, who was suspended from that latest game in the Champions League. Yapstam and Dennis Irwin are today's major absentees. Mikhail Silvestre and Philip Neville come into the defensive unit for Manchester United. Another high-profile appointment for England's refereeing representative at the Euro 2000 finals, Graham Paul. Bradford City kick-off, they've beaten Arsenal here this year, they've held Chelsea here. A narrow defeat two weeks ago against second-place Leeds, and now it's the leaders. Manchester United here looking for victory at Valley Parade in their change strip of dark blue shirts. And the first test for a defence lacking Yap Stam is that long throw from Dean Windass by Silvestre. Here is Windas. Diverted away by Henning Berg. Collected by Giggs. York. Bradford will be sure to try and get in about their business. If Manchester United can settle to the rhythm of their passing game and impose their talents on this fixture, well, I think they will feel that they should be good enough to get the points. But Bradford, who are so much better here, their away record has been uh, distinctly disappointing, rather encapsulated by that four-goal collapse at Coventry last Saturday. Free kick given against Roy Keane, who claimed that he certainly went for the ball. In the Bradford ranks, Peter Brigri to take the free kick, but David Weatherall, the likely target, that's Dean Saunders waiting as well. Weatherall has scored a couple of goals against Manchester United for Leeds, and it's Brigri goes with a shot, and Bosnich beaten by the late dip, and the goalkeeper got distinctly lucky. Well, that could have bounced out to a foe rather than a friend. And here's Giggs. And work at the other end for Matt Clark back in action at the feet of Andy Cole. Lawrence. McCall. Lawrence again. Well, if that was deliberate by uh, Mark Bosnich, it was a good uh, pass to Gary Neville. He's kicking is uh, the weakest point of his goalkeeping. Here's Lawrence, trying to keep Bradford on the front foot. Less than 20,000, the capacity here. Nearer 18 in truth, but the majority were on their feet in anticipation as Peter Beagre caught Mark Bosnich cold. But the goalkeeper survived. Manchester United could easily have been a goal down. Lawrence. Philip Neville at left-back. 
Not too much senior football recently. Oh, and that's a misjudgment by Andy O'Brien. And Wayne Jacobs helped him out. Here's a case of sunshine and shade on the far side. And O'Brien maybe seeing that ball late. He certainly misjudged it. Saunders, McCall. For that. The team today, Paul Jewell, the manager, feels that uh, with his experience, a big occasion might just be the right time to introduce him from the start. Without trying to make that challenge on Philip Neville, York. Matt Clark established himself as first choice and then injured a knee here playing against Watford. First time he's been back since then. On from Lawrence. Berg getting to the ball. Saunders deciding to take the throw himself. McCall. Saunders again. And a quick pass from Rindas for Gunnar Haller to chase. Gary Neville and Henning Berg, you might just have noted there, having a little word. Maybe about the way Manchester United need to sort one or two things out. In his early minutes, Paul Jewell and Terry Yorath. And Chris Hutchings are just behind the duo to the left. They're the management men for Bradford City. Philip Neville, taken by York. Well, Keane, Giggs. Beckham trying to let it run. Goals. There's a ball on to Gary Neville here. Scholes, Giggs. On to Philip Neville. Three in the centre for the cross. And Weatherall. At a good distance to the clearance, met by Silvestre. Keane. Beckham. Keen again. Scholes fighting to get to that. Saunders scampering on. Right pass from Berg. And Cadet coming in and blocking Bosnich's. Attempted clearance. It's certainly something that the opposition will play on. Mark Bosnich's lack of comfort with the ball at his feet. And George Cadet didn't break stride. The outcome is a goal kick. Neville. Sylvester, he's given it away to McCall. And Paul nipping out of the way, the referee. And Lawrence looking to drop it over Gary Neville for Saunders to collect eagerly. Big Rick. Oh, well, it came through towards uh, the feet of Dean Windass, who looked as though he got. A real opportunity there, but Manchester United crowded him out. Giggs. 
Backed up well by Philip Neville. Keane. For Beckham. Seeing plenty of the ball centrally so far. Beckham again. Neville. Gary Neville's cross. Wayne Jacobs being told by his goalkeeper to turn and get it away, and that's just what he's done. Beckham reacting quickly. And some uh, pushing in the centre by Andy Cole. Free kick to Bradford City. This is Andy O'Brien. But it was, again, good work by Bigri that threatened to catch Manchester United out here. And when Windass took the first touch, it seemed he'd set up a chance for himself, but there was hardly time to get the second one away. Almost ten minutes gone. Any reward for Bradford City a bonus today. Their survival chances depending more on their next and final three home fixtures against Southampton, Derby and Wimbledon. All fellow sufferers at the wrong end of the table. Beckham. The elder of the... Neville Brothers, putting it forward to York. Right, York caught at the moment, it seems, in a club and country tussle. Should have Tobago wanting his services over the next few weeks from time to time. And there are so many important games for Manchester United. Here is York. to Gary Neville, Giggs has come central, Cole is in there of course as you'd expect. Begrick and Saunders. They have got a lot of uh, older players, Bradford City, names that you'll be familiar with, like Peter Begrick. They will be fueled up and revved up for a chance to show that they can still compete with the very best. O'Brien, Saunders. Cadet, put that neatly, but Lawrence in close proximity. That was the goal to tell you about at the Stadium of Light. Sunderland, who haven't won since before Christmas, are a goal up against Everton through Nicky Summerby. Judged by Weatherall, guided down by Saunders, supported by Cadet. McCall taking over. Degree trying to drag Gary Neville infield to leave some space for Wayne Jacobs. That's worked out for Bradford City. And it leads to a corner off the Manchester United right back. shown a scoring touch in the past against Manchester United. Bigri to take the corner. Weatherall going round the back and coming in and making a pretty decent contact as well. Lawrence making sure Giggs didn't get away. It's Dean Saunders who tried to, to pass on the spin that was, well, a millimetre or two out, but that was almost enough for Ryan Giggs. Also up in the northeast, Middlesbrough one, Sheffield Wednesday, who parted company with Danny Wilson, their manager, a few days ago. Sheffield Wednesday nil. Andy Campbell, a young Middlesbrough striker, has given the home side the lead at the Riverside Stadium. 
Scholes. Here's Cole. And, uh, get in across. O'Brien had gone out there with him to try and pen him into that corner. Alec Ferguson always prepares his team at the start of every season with March and April in mind, the months in which the strong can make big strides towards football silverware. Weatherall, Scholes knew exactly where Giggs was and found him. Now that trying to use all his know-how, he's been around a long time, the Norwegian. Try and curb the undoubted threat that Ryan Giggs is. Sylvester recently lost his place to Henning Berg after a long run in the side in the Premiership. And he's back today with the app stand. Not involved. Nor Dennis Irwin. I'm told by the Manchester United camp, it's just a case of those players being rested today. Beckham, Key, Scholes, time for a touch for George Cadet, and now Lawrence. And Jeremy Lawrence got up looking for a free kick, but Graham Pohl wasn't in the mood to give it. Manchester United win today would take them uh, seven points clear at the top again. Leeds, because of their UEFA Cup commitments on Thursdays, not in action until tomorrow when they play at Leicester, where Manchester United won last weekend. taking a risk but <laughs> it looked classy and came away with it McCall getting the better of Roy Keane in a real man-to-man -man challenge then and it's going down once more and again not getting any decision it's brought forward for Giggs who's got a couple to angle in the centre it's gone behind off Jacobs it could easily have gone into his own goal Quick break by Manchester United when they were back pedalling a few seconds earlier after McCall had got the better of Keane in midfield. And then when Jacobs just uh, relaxing his body so that didn't get a hard touch and go directly into the back of his own net. Beckham's corner. Saunders. Begri. And on is the cry from Yorkshire voices here. Jacobs, Cadet trying to get in front of Berg, in fact he did do that, just got a little nick on the ball that put Berg off. Berg. Keane, supported by Scholes. Sylvester likes to switch the play with that good left foot of his. And he's picked out David Beckham beautifully. Beckham's cross came from the David Beckham uh, textbook, really. But there were cries of handball as he controlled the ball. It was a little awkward again with the sun in his eyes. Jacobs. Well, that's been seen as a foul by Jacobs on Beckham. Not a decision that many connected with Bradford City 
have agreed with, including Dean Windass, who was very close to the referee and clearly didn't keep his thoughts to himself. So Beckham takes the free kick. Oh, and then Paul Scholes going in, claiming maybe that he was pushed onto that. But he certainly handled. Well, a couple of spicy incidents involving the referee. Should it have been a free kick in the first place? This is what happens. There's Scholes clearly with his arms up. And there's a cadet coming behind him. Off goes Saunders. Berg is the defender. Oh, and now the flag's up again against Saunders. That's going to be a free kick if the referee responds to it. The flag's now gone down. Bosnich has got the ball. I don't think this would have counted if Saunders had turned it into a goal-getting opportunity. At that moment, the flag went up. But in the end, it was Bosnich's ball. from York, back from Wetherill. More news for you from uh, the middle for Sheffield Wednesday game. Still 1-0 to Middlesbrough. Janinho has missed a penalty for them. You might recall he also failed with one against Manchester United recently. Cadet. Twenty minutes gone. Bradford City nil, Manchester United nil. Giggs, not an easy one to control. And Bradford trying to make it uh, not easy for him to pass it once he pulled the ball down so deftly. Key. Beckham, infield again. Berg. And Harry Neville in too much of a hurry. Jacobs. Manchester United just trying to uh, show a little bit of authority with their passing in their own half. And then Bradford having worked hard to get the ball back initially from Gary Neville. Didn't put together a move of their own of any great menace. <laughs> Neville can throw the ball some distance, but he just drops it in short for York that time and crosses over the head of Cole, Keane. Skull staying in the centre with Cole and York, it's York. Saunders, Beagree supporting but... and apologising for giving the ball away, but good pressure. David Beckham, that's what Bradford have got to try and maintain, easy to say, desperately hard to do. McCall, Cadet. No breakthrough for the league leaders and defending champions and all-time premiership powerhouses as yet. Gig setting off, Beckham looking for the pass, what a ball from David Beckham! Ryan Giggs couldn't round it off. But they'll play it short, go through midfield, and then suddenly Manchester United, with so much variety to their football, can produce a killer pass from deep like that. 
just delivered with perfect geometry by Ryan Giggs, uh, by uh, David Beckham, but Ryan Giggs couldn't find the uh, placement with the shot that the pass deserved. Berg. Now Sylvester. Sylvester in, uh, in there amongst the centre backs at the moment. York, Beckham. And Beckham did have time to set the sights. Doesn't score many goals from open play these days. Maybe could have gone on a stride or so further than Brantford, who have done so well in their work rate trying to close down Manchester United in the first quarter of the game. Allowed Beckham rather to come on to them then, but no work for Matt Clark at the end of it. McCall. Berg's header. McCall biting in again. Saunders, two players there for Bradford City who are older than the manager, Paul Jewell. McCall, cadet, also over 30. Windass. Jacobs. Saunders trying to link up with Bigri. Jacobs helping Peter Bigri out. McCall. now Manchester United who was so quick at springing forward in the counter-attack and there's plenty of room for Beckham here he can cut in if he wants instead he looks for the angle for the cross and puts it straight at the goalkeeper and that's a missed opportunity for Manchester United Bigrick Bradford were caught in this part of the pitch not quite sure where they were going and United stepped in now the flag's gone up against Cadet that must have been close Good movement. I would say he was unlucky there, George Cadet. I could easily have stayed down. Diggs turned away from Haller. Cole York's offside. between these two at Old Trafford back in December. York and Cole were brought on as uh, substitutes and both scored in a 4-0 win after Bradford had held out for a long period, as they are holding out now, but we're still in the first half. Neville. Back to Clark from uh, Windass. And Cole interested in making it awkward for the goalkeeper here. And Clark showed good composure. Lawrence. Another header down, but it only went straight to Keane. Scholes. And the call got across and it went out of Phil Neville. Paul, who started here before moving away to uh, further his career at Everton and, of course, at Rangers in Scotland. Windass. Lawrence for Cadet. And there's no real angle for the return pass. Part that Roy Keane plays for Manchester United. No coincidence 
that the season before last when he didn't play uh, from September onwards that the club ended up empty-handed as far as trophies were concerned. That's good pursuing by Lawrence, he's won the throw, well forward for Bradford. It's encouraged Weatherall to make his way forward, Saunders looking for any sort of flick on from the centre-back. Though by the Manchester United centre back Henning Berg, shot by McCall. Windas. Jacobs trying to drop it in behind Philip Neville. <laughs> David Redwell going uh, very wide there to make that header. Make it, he did. York. Keen. Roy Keen wanting it and getting it. Gary Neville, Beckham ahead of him. Is it? Cole was trying to fill that. And Andy Cole facing up to David Beckham's pass. Looking to do the same again. Still Cole. Beckham. Skulls by the near post. And that was Dwight York so close to giving Manchester United the lead on the half hour mark. Patient play down the right-hand side from uh, Sir Alec Ferguson's team. And that patience almost produced the penetration that the league leaders are looking for and might get here with Beckham. This was Beckham's cross a moment or two ago. Skulls with a touch. York getting to it. And Matt Clark on his return to the team. Doing very well to keep it out down by his right-hand post. Might just have been a tug on York's shirt there as well. Still nil-nil. Former Manchester United goalkeeper Gary Walsh was the man in possession here at the start of the season, but he's been injured for a long time now. Matt Clark came in, and when he was injured, all sorts of problems for the club. They got a player on loan, Aidan Davison, who served them well, and uh, he had to go back to Sheffield United. He's uh, now returned on a permanent transfer. He uh, played at Coventry last week and is on the bench today, but so much uh, were the difficulties at Neville Southall at the age of 41 played here against Leeds United two weekends ago and the Bradford City goal and all has gone forward again it's the strength in Haller's arms it's a decent throw and towards Weatherall Windass and back to Haller it's too long for Saunders and company Beckham to clear. Beagren. Jacobs. Cadet. More than useful in the air. Giggs. There's a space in the centre for York if the ball had been played forward quickly. And Brian had rather followed the header forward. Interception though by Weatherall. Cadet. Lawrence on the right hand side. Skulls coming back. Fall by Cadet, nothing more than that. Not too many appeals by his teammates, and it's a, a thoughtful pass from Paul Skulls into space that's filled first by Andy Cole from Manchester United. Giggs going towards the near post. Well claimed by Clark. 
No room for a mistake there. Bradford looking for an offside that wasn't given. Berg. But, uh, Saunders has got it for the home side. Not for long. Skulls. Plenty in support for Manchester United, as is so often the case. Keane. Philip Neville on the move. On the outside, Keane. Beckham. All just away from uh, Andy Cole in terms of any chance of having a shot there. Goalkeeper started to come. There's no real pressure from uh, the United players in the box on that cross. Begrick. Pass Skulls. Always been very adept with the ball at his feet, Peter Begrick. Well, it was a very good idea. Had to hit it hard to get it over the last defender, but hit it so hard that it went beyond any chance that Saunders had of retrieving it. And Sylvester was pleased to see that skip on out of play. Windass. Giggs from Keane's pass. Cole. Philip Neville. Giggs. Oh, trying to play it back to Philip Neville. Played it against himself. But now Gary Neville. Tries to drive it. Goldwoods through the crowd. Skulls. Up right to the halfway line did Sylvester and Berg who haven't played too much together in Manchester United senior side there is Neville Southall the goalkeeping coach here but, uh, a week ago last Sunday he was the goalkeeper here pressed into service and became Bradford City's oldest ever player in that game Giggs Gigs once more. Lawrence. Knocked out Jimmy Lawrence there. Mario Windass. Beckham. Powered by Windass. Well, handle a little bit of cute for this being a perfect David Beckham territory. Cole getting the two-man Bradford ball back the right distance. Beckham takes it. Corner. Met by uh, Weatherall's head. And the free kick taker becomes the corner kick taker for Manchester United. And Beckham supported quickly by Gary Neville. Beckham again. Scholes of Drop deep, cries of handball, but he goes on, and Jacobs has to scrape that away. He's gone behind for a corner. It's a surprise maybe to find Paul Scholes so deep in those circumstances, but those attacking instincts soon surfaced when he got the ball. Oh, a great header by Dwight York! That flew into the top corner. The pressure had been mounting on Bradford City. The bend on the Beckham's corner, tailored for York's movement. And Dwight York buried it. Well, it's taken 37 minutes for Manchester United to make the breakthrough. No smile from the manager, but certainly one from the scorer. He smiles, whatever the circumstances.
So it's even more of a battle now for Bradford City, who would have uh, pinned any chances on the... getting any return from this game, really, on getting the first goal and maybe catching Manchester United on an off day. Gary Neville. York again, touched onto the post by Clark. So easily could have been 2 0. But Matt Clark got a very vital touch here. And the post did the rest. Manchester United looking to tighten the grip in typical fashion. Keane. Philip Neville. Beckham. The extra class is starting to shine through in the sunshine. And Andy Cole goes in for the kill, whether he don't think he needed the touch. They go to York. And Bradford going towards half-time with a, a sinking feeling here. Giggs. Looped up by York. 2-0. And Andy Cole, right on the line, maybe over the line, wasn't really required. But what a combination those two are. And if one doesn't get you, the other one will. Well, Bradford had certainly given them their best for much of this first half. And when you think in between the two goals, York has also hit the post. Which shows how Manchester United have got down to uh, the groove here. And they're heading for three more points. And Paul Jewell is heading for a half-time uh, inquest on just when, what went wrong in the five minutes or so in which Bradford City have been uh, dismantled. Beckham, There's a bit of a slip in there, I think, by Windass. So here in Yorkshire, it's very much Dwight York's day. B Green. Well, you think that Cole and York have got 20 goals each now this season. And the leading scorers for Bradford City have six apiece. It emphasises the gulf between the haves and the have-nots in the Premier League. Inside the last three minutes of the first half. Cadet. There's been plenty of hustle and bustle about Bradford City. But the cutting edge has come from Manchester United. A 
Shinner from Matt Clark. The court. Berg is there. So help from the centre back partner Sylvester. Some of the blusters come out of the Bradford City fans who are thoroughly enjoying the first 37 minutes of the game. Team. York. Now Scholes. York. Epitomising the confidence of Manchester United at the moment. Brothers Neville combining. Giggs, York. Now Cole. He settles for the corner. Well, Dwight York got a hat trick recently in the Premiership against Derby County. Another of the strugglers for the sword here. Okay. That's the best work short corner from United, but so much snappier to the ball at the moment. Half time uh, will come soon enough for Bradford City. Beckham. He's looking to get uh, the ball up and down into that top corner. A very deliberate aim. Just off his target. Well, it's half-time here, the first half, much of which was evenly contested as Paul Jewell and Terry Orris' team, Bradford City, did their best to hustle and bustle around the high-quality opposition. But Manchester United were showing signs of getting their game together before Dwight York opened his account, and then his second that found its way into the net as Andy Cole came in to make absolutely sure and uh, Alec Ferguson permits himself a grin, the first one we've seen from him so far. Half-time here in West Yorkshire. York is the name at the moment for Manchester United. He's responsible for them leading Bradford City by two goals to nil. To Bradford, the ground that's now known as the Bradford and Bingley Stadium, Valley Parade. It will always be to most people in these parts. No half-time changes for Manchester United. No claim on that second goal from Andy Cole. We've uh, heard from the man himself. And Dwight York on a hat-trick. And he's now scored seven goals in three and a half games, his last three and a half games, after a pretty lean spell. So Manchester United are out and ready for business Bradford City. Still no sign of them, the officials on their way out. Here come the home players. Bradford City have only lost three home games in the Premiership to West Ham United in August, Sunderland in October, and Leeds a couple of weeks ago. So they don't uh, lay down and die here.
After their last relegation from the top flight of English League football, Bradford City had to wait 77 years to get back. When they went down in 1922, the other team to be relegated with them was none other than Manchester United. I think it's safe to say that history will not be repeating itself this season. Those two first half goals from Dwight York have taken his tally in not much more than a season and a half with Manchester United to 49 for the club. Bet against him, rounding it off to 50 today. Skulls. Giggs. Berg with the header. Here's Jamie Lawrence. Seeing some uh, space and moving into it. Shot struck uh, Philip Neville. The problem Bradford had the more they want to try and press on, throw the extra player or two forward, the greater the risk at the back. Bigri. Cadet. Windass, it was going well wide, so he was pleased to get the second chance. He didn't make too much of that either. Versatile Dean Windass. Weatherall. Saunders. Back for Windass. Manchester United backing off. So Windass able to put a cross in towards Weatherall, just a bit too deep. And David Weatherall far from his defensive uh, station as Manchester United looked to break out with Beckham who runs out of room. Cleared by Silvestra. Saunders. And he spotted Jamie Lawrence, but he couldn't find him. Giggs. That's back by O'Brien. by Weatherall, good footwork from the tall defender. Power. Cadet trying to get uh, away from Silvestra. And a bit of a shoving on Nicol uh, Silvestra then by Bradford's new man from Portugal, but the decision is a corner. Agree to take it towards Weatherall, who gets up well. Cadet gets up well. This goes, settles for the goal kick. This place in Bradford appeals. Weatherall had eight years with Leeds, but wasn't really to David O'Leary's liking, it seemed. The same can be said about Gunnar Haller. Allowed to move on, and Lee Sharp, who came here from Ellen Road after an unhappy time there following his successful career with Manchester United. Sharp wondering whether he's going to get an opportunity to play against his old club. Sitting on the Bradford bench today. Burke. Weatherall. Giggs. Beckham. Off the mark with a layoff for Keane. And he's trying to make up for mistake. He's gone in late. Crowd uh, calling for Graham Pohl to produce the yellow card for that 
Foul on Bigri by Beckham. And that's just what the referee has done. Beckham knew it was his mistake that Manchester United had lost possession. But he was uh, impetuous in the way he tried to make up for it. Jacobs with the free kick. And a call. Haller. Blocked by Giggs. Skull is trying to get out and Keane as well. The call's done very well in those circumstances. The bottom club, Watford, have gone a goal down at home to Tottenham early in the second half. Chris Armstrong has rediscovered his scoring touch. The Tottenham scorer at Vicarage Road. And from Windass. Key. Looking to call the tune in Manchester United's midfield, Neville. Saunders early from Peter Breedry for George Cadet to chase. It's a great early cross, and it uh, was touched away from uh, Saunders and Lawrence, who got into the centre by Berg, I think. Good movement by Bradford City, pretty much as good as they've put together in the match. Another all forward of a long throw again. Silvestre, Bradford get the next goal. Well, there still could be life in the occasion as a meaningful contest. Manchester United finishing that first half so strongly and gaining a grip. Now the job is to maintain that grip. Haller's throw. And that was uh, setting himself as the ball dropped back by uh, Jacobs. Let's climb. Keen happy to clear. Cole to chase. Vigilant work by O'Brien. Cool touch from Scholes. Lovely weighted pass by Roy Keane to Beckham. Just feel that if they needed to, Manchester United could step up gear or two. Keane, Skulls trying to take it on, but uh, first touch. And his stand is a bit clumsy. Uh, voted by the England supporters as England's Player of the Year for 1999. Here's Gary Neville. Neville had to put the brakes on, he would have gone offside. Beckham's cross, Gary Neville! That's what I mean about being able to find an extra gear when they want Manchester United. And he scored a couple of senior goals, the right back, getting on for 250 first team appearances, but he nearly added to the men. That was a chance for Cadet, needed a better pass to Saunders. Gary Neville kept on running, it was a fine header and another excellent stop by Clark. Crowd trying to hurry up Mark Bosnich, Not the referee. Advanced on by York, Cole might have used a hand, either onto the ball and and maybe on to weather all illegally. Yes, handball there. Gary Neville stepping up and wanting an offside. And he's got it.
back. Sylvester trying to stay tight on Saunders. Windass, Haller. Good uh, aerial contest that between Philip Neville and Jamie Lawrence. Gary Neville, Lawrence uh, going across quickly, competitively, but not in the end successfully. O'Brien. It's been uh, concluded by Cole and Beckham was uh, roaring in as well. David Beckham's just got to be careful, having been booked. Saunders. Can't get there first. Philip Neville does and looks to uh, support Ryan Giggs, who stretches his legs. And Manchester United have got four players forward here. And very fine defending by Weatherall. Good advantage played by Graham Paul. There was a foul on Weatherall by Giggs. Windass. Maybe a little lucky to find Lawrence. Back comes York. And uh, York helped Roy Keane. Sort that out for Manchester United. Beckham waiting on the right and onside. Cole in the centre. Keane wants it cut back. Roy Keane is moving in. He's got a dozen goals already this season and was sensing another. Good claim by Clark from Beckham's cross. Oh, and Bosnich well out of his area. <laughs> That's a header worthy of any centre back from the Manchester United goalkeeper. King. Phil Neville. Scholes having played under pressure but doing it well. York. Nimble footwork from him. Cole, is he onside? Well, he would have been allowed to go on, but he wasn't going to get to the ball. This is Bradford City's 30th game of the season. They've won only six. on the Bradford bench. Giggs. to make their first change and on comes the former Manchester United star Lee Sharp he had eight years at Old Trafford he replaces Gunnar Haller so is the left-sided Sharp going to play on the right or is Jamie Lawrence going to go to right back that's the way it looks at the moment and Sharp just ahead of him Ish midfield roll, not on his uh, custom flag. Here's Cole. More untidy than uh, cynical. Well, the first half. Starting in many ways, the second half starting in many ways the same way as the first, with the game a decent contest. No change on the scoreline since the break. Manchester United still two goals for the good. With belonging to Dwight York. Saunders. Craftily. Again. Making sure that Bradford got the ball from the throat. Touched away by Berg. 
Diggs on the move again. Sharp. Trying to get back. Still Giggs. Trying to select the right option. It's certainly a safe option to keep possession through Scholes. Gary Neville forward again. Beckham's cross, York. Trying to anticipate where it was going to be whipped in towards in that near post area. That's a stabbed into the centre by Keane that time. Back with Beckham again. Claims of a handball on the block by Bigri. Not upheld by the referee. They don't have that any great pace up front. Bradford City. But they have got plenty of determination, epitomised by Cadet then. Sharp. Link up between Cole and York. Giggs in the centre, Beckham waiting on the right for the pass. Cole trying to pull away <laughs> in the end. Matt Clark has to keep it out directly from David Beckham. <laughs> With Beckham, you can uh, never be quite sure, but he looked up as though he was going to cross that towards goal. And if that was the case, it would have been a fortunate goal had it arrived. But Clark again alert. Gary Neville has hooked it with the left foot. to the pace of the proceedings yet, the Bradford City substitute. Giggs. Ryan Giggs again, this is Cole. Got lovely elasticity of movement with those turns of his. Saunders coming up with uh, something similar, but unfairly in the mind of referee Graham Paul. He used his body Contrary to the laws of the game against Mikhail Silvestre. Now well, that's one again that could have gone uh, unpunished, but the free kick it is. Philip Neville takes it. Too high for Giggs, who says he didn't want it there. Has it uh, played more away from the goal towards the corner? And a certain irony to the applause as Saunders gets uh, a free kick in his favour. Bigri. This kick by Berg, it came to Dean Saunders. Swung the left foot and uh, the connection hurried, was not clean. It's good in the air, Peter Bigri, in that sort of position. Berg was uh, in particular relieved that his mishit clearance wasn't fully punished. Saunders, Cadet. And that's a fine kick by Mark Bosnich. Showing that he can do it if he concentrates. Skulls. Knows his angles well, Wayne Jacobs. Unspectacular player, but a very steady one, the Bradford City left back. Bigri. He's been a box of tricks. United have seen them all before. 
Giggs. Maybe be letting it run on a call from Cole. Swept wide here to Philip Neville. Lawrence can't prevent the cross. Big rip. Twenty minutes played in the second half. We're still as we were at half time. Bradford City nil, Manchester United two. First time Manchester United have played a league game on this ground since 1936. They were beaten then. But it doesn't look as though they're going to be beaten today. It's been a good opening half an hour to the game from the home side. Giggs. Key. That's trying to take that extravagantly expansively on the turn. It didn't quite come off. But the flag stops the roll to that particular Manchester United attack. Keep it taken from the wrong place. Jacobs. Now Windus. He's got a lot of power in his game. Not always uh, the subtlest of touches, but he served Bradford City very well this season, Dean Windus, in a variety of positions. Brian. Here's Keane. Beckham outside him. York through the centre for, for Manchester United out of the equation. Left behind is Bradford break. Mundas can't uh, find the stealth that's needed. And that's a call uh, by uh, Weatherall. Dwight York's shirt right in front of the gaze of the referee. Three-quarter mark of the match. Here's a bit of news for you. At Stamford Bridge is Chelsea nil, Southampton 1. Glenn Hoddle, former Chelsea manager, taking Southampton back there today. Jotesem, the Norwegian, who's chipped in with some useful goals recently, is on target again. Weatherall, Philip Neville, and the Scholes. He felt he was impeded. Sharp. Looking towards the head of Bigri. Again, uh, giving Gary Neville plenty to think about in the air. Papa said he wants to make another change. For their striker, Robbie Blake. Ready to come on. Beckham. Well, 2 0 at Leicester last Saturday for Manchester United. 2 0 here. And without Yapstam as well. Sylvester and Berg want we'll to uh, keep this shutout going. Jacobs. Just trying to work off the shoulder of the last defender. Ball didn't come forward quickly enough for him. Key. Now Berg, think about the back pass. Thought about it and then thought against it. York. Keen finding Beckham. Looking uh, like twins with the. Uh, Shaven heads. Beckham's fast. Cole coming in. 
And it was important for Bradford City that Jamie Lawrence got that uh, hair of uh, many colours to it. Robbie Blake, who uh, was very much at the forefront of things in Bradford's promotion season, he found it, like so many of his colleagues, harder going in the Premiership, comes on for George Cadet, with 20 minutes left. And Beckham about to take a corner for Manchester United, who lead by two goals to nil. That. Here it is. Paul Scholes lurking with major intent. To pick him out is one thing. Beckham did that. For Scholes to hit it as he did. Equally brilliant. And it sped in and York did well to get out of the way. A majestic third goal here at Bradford for Manchester United. The scorer, Paul Scholes. And here comes Beckham again. Not quite so spot on that time. And he scratches his head in amazement that he made that mistake. Sharp. Sharp again. Saunders. McCall. Begri. Jacobs with a cross, a skimming one, met by Silvestre. Forward by Keane, it's two against one at the moment. Beckham on the ball, Cole with him, Bradford getting numbers back. One of those numbers, Andrew O'Brien, doing enough to put Beckham off. McCall. And nothing if not brave, Bradford City. And it doesn't get any harder than this. Against the team of so many talents. Philip Neville. Giggs, no flag. Cole coming in, it's too high for him. Beckham trying to get there, Wayne Jacobs in the right place. Giving Beckham a taste of the Wayne Jacobs footwork. McCall. Working here with Windas. Sharp. And no one's going to catch that. And it is uh, a goal that you'll see uh, over and over again, I'm sure. <laughs> to the audacity, if you like, but the ability of uh, the corner taker and the goal scorer. by Weatherall, Graham Polk patting his own ample chest so that's where it hit Weatherall well, Chelsea fans can breathe a bit easier it's been an equaliser for the Blues at Stamford Bridge a Dean Richards own goal remember Richards was unfortunately debuted with an own goal in that recent 7-2 thrashing at Spurs, but it's 1-1 in uh, West London. Roy Keane is given the rest of the afternoon off with 15 minutes or so to go, and Ronnie Woolwork, another who's come through the ranks, coming on uh, with the uh, eagerness of someone <laughs> out to make the most of the time that he has out on the uh, pitch in the first team. Degree. 
Then getting to the ball against Gary Neville aerially. Not able to uh, knock it square enough. Lawrence. Welcoming pass to Woolworth from Gary Neville, but substitute sorted it out. And that elusive win for Sunderland might be looming a bit larger now. They're 2 1 up against the Everton, thanks to the Premiership's most prolific scorer, Kevin Phillips. Also, the most highly paid player we understand now in Sunderland's history. Beckham and Cole onside. Mark is waiting. He hasn't yet spotted him. Free kick is given against Andy Cole. And taken with a moving ball. And that probably again. Jacobs, Windass, Sharp, Sylvester trying to get in front of Saunders, hurt himself as he did that, Lawrence, think it's anything too serious for Mikhail Sylvester. Situation remains serious for Bradford City, not just in this match, but in the drop zone. One of their other fellow sufferers, Wimbledon, don't play until tomorrow. They're away from home at West Ham. Woolwork. Philip Neville, Giggs, and forward by Jacobs, Gary Neville. Don't look to just kill the game off Manchester United by keeping the ball. They are greedy for more, and I mean that as a compliment. cross is uh, a bit too long or maybe he doesn't think so he stood and looked disapprovingly from the far side and allowed others to think about defending sharp it breaks down for Bradford again and Gary Neville was uh, just the uh, chugging back Disappointment from the Bradford fans. There's no doubt that uh, they are in a, a pretty perilous position, but I think taking a broader view, it's been remarkable for a club of Bradford City's size that they have got into the Premiership at all and uh, given themselves a chance in these last few weeks of the season off, staying up for a second season. Beckham, so much time to turn, and that's the price you pay for allowing David Beckham that sort of space. It's 4-0. Cole, look at Beckham just standing there, swivelling and completely fooling. Matt Clark. Whether, whether it took a touch, no, it didn't, straight in. It is now 
Bradford City nil, Manchester United four. The second half goals for Beckham made the one for Scholes. And now he gets in on the act himself. The score, of course, last Saturday at Leicester. A sharp haircut has produced some sharp results from David Beckham. Not that Paul Jewell will appreciate what's just happened here. Here's Beckham again. Kicks going near post. Cole coming around the back. And but for Clark, it would be uh, even worse than the four that Bradford have conceded for for the second Saturday in succession, of course. Blake. Windas. Here's Blake. Giggs is going off. Michelle, of course, used to rival Giggs for that position on the left-hand side for Manchester United. Only going to Solskjaer gets an opportunity inside the last ten minutes. So often the scoring substitute. So at the moment, he's back to help Manchester United defend here. Sylvester gets it away. Berg. McCall. Fifty-three goals now Bradford City have conceded this season. The Premiership, this is their 30th game. But they will still look at the three home games they've got to come against Southampton, Wimbledon and Derby as a possible escape route. It's all very well saying they might be favourites to win those games here, but get nine points out of nine that looks as though that's going to be the absolute minimum especially as away from home they have uh, it very hard to collect points team, team, team. Philip Neville Solskjaer equals uh, the margin of uh, Sunderland's win here back in October. I have to say Manchester United and stretch their superiority even further on the scoreline. Skulls. York. More nifty work from Beckham. Will work. Souls. Maybe another shot from distance. Well, the uh, Bradford fans trying to find something in common with the Manchester United followers here by their antipathy towards Leeds United. left this time Andy Cole Philip Neville will work Gary Neville can uh, come forward supported by Berg just getting the ball for Bradford is a problem at the moment will work Only they 
do get it through the resistance of O'Brien. This is Blake. Saunders still hoping for some pickings in the centre. Bosnich able to deal with that with some comfort. Philip Neville. Ninety-four goals in all competitions this season. Manchester United have managed. And plenty more to come, you feel. It's reminding uh, us all of the importance of tracking back towards his own goal as well as making the forward runs. York, long leg of Weatherall interrupted his progress then. Bigri. Still Peter Bigri. Pass back. Well, it would have hardly changed the course of this match, but it was very easy on the eye from the neutral perspective. A weaving, twisting run from Peter Bigri. A fine shot at the end of it. Bosnich, the equal to it. Sharp to take the corner. Bosnich, uh, maybe just put off at the point of impact. Long enough to knock the ball to Beckham. Drilling it across. It reaches Solskjaer off Lawrence. A spin for Cole, maybe the pass for York. York's offside. Straightforward decision, and in the end, a straightforward afternoon for Manchester United. Not so for the first third of the game. But the uh, last hour, a happy hour for those from Old Trafford, and their many fans uh, watching all over the world. Sharp. Work by Silvestre. McCall. He doesn't uh, give things up easily. Sharp. Solskjaer with a silky touch to link up with Skulls. And then with Cole. York. Cole. Trying to keep going through the crowd. Had five forward then Manchester United, but not goal number five. Skulls. Two minutes past stoppage time to go. Saunders. Blake with him had a look to see where he was. Still Dean Saunders. United trying to shunt him down a blind alley. The call for Jacobs. For Saunders. Well, the man of many clubs. Couldn't find a shot to get the better of an old teammate then. One of his ports of call. Blake. Be great. Jacobs uh, kind of distract the defenders. <laughs> Still big, Rick. Jacobs with the cross. And the header by Windass had the direction but not the power. As Bradford looked to record something positive.
Philip Neville. Bigri again. His uh, individual skills make him such a favourite here. Still Peter Bigri. Windass making another run into the penalty area. Comes here for Lee Sharp. Blake. Neat turn. Well, that was beautiful work from Robbie Blake. Last act of the match, at least. Bradford looking to have a final say. But uh, the story here, again, is about Manchester United and their continuing momentum. The first half, well, Dwight York's goals came late in that first period after a well-contested opening half an hour, but then the goal of the match, Beckham's corner, volleyed in from outside the penalty area by Paul's goals. And still time for David Beckham to be a scorer himself. Manchester United goes seven points clear. Again, Leeds play tomorrow, remember. Bradford City have eight games left.